What's going on, guys? Hey, it's Anthony with the Wrenched Out Experiment coming to you from Alaska here. Let's see if I can get my microphone going. All right, so I'm going to be releasing this video April 13th, Monday morning for you. Hopefully, you can start the week off right, so stay tuned. Look into this. All right, guys, so once again, I'm Anthony coming to you live from the Matsu Valley here in the wonderful state of Alaska. This last weekend was Easter, so I hope everyone had a great week, uh, great Easter weekend with the family, friends, and everything else. But of course, applying your social distancing, maybe you got some FaceTime or a Zoom meeting or something of that nature in, and you were able to celebrate if you do celebrate Easter, or, or maybe you just had uh, taken some time again to uh, reach out to family and friends. So I hope that all went well for everyone. Um, again, this is going to be kind of a quick COVID-19 update, primarily focused on Alaska, but we're going to talk about it, several things today. And I am going to try to shoot several videos um, here, maybe today, uh, o over the course of the next couple of days. So I will be probably leaving out some of the information. Also got a couple of videos um, that I had not released that I wanted to, um, that are not COVID-19 related. So let's uh, start off with the current situation. So currently we have 272 cases, 66 recovered cases, 31 hospitalized and eight deaths. Again, I always hate to see that death number rising. Um, this in any pandemic, I mean, obviously COVID-19 has a insane amount of media coverage to include myself. So I'm not excluded from what I'm about to say, but um, because of how critically reviewed and observed COVID-19 is, um, not only is the facts uh, being uploaded really, really quickly, but in addition to that, um, there's a lot of other, you know, facts and thing that's, that, that's happening um, to include just crazy information. Checking my phone, I got a message um, that that's getting put out there ev everywhere. From obviously, there's a lot of um, media coverage, and then what their spins are on it. Now, I I would say this. Uh, my opinion about it is because of the heightened awareness of COVID nineteen. Don't take everything that's being said as this is this is the way it is and here's why um obviously on the the healthcare side of things I, you know I, I voiced my my personal support for healthcare in almost every video and I will in this video as well um saying in my mind healthcare providers are like the number one lines obviously there's first responders but how how you depict a first responder is up to you um and then there's the folks that are um helping with infrastructure oh the dog came in um, anyways, on the healthcare side of things, it's an interesting situation simply because there is places where healthcare providers are being cut or, or nurses and CNAs, CMAs, um, nurse pr practitioners, doctors, um, because of the, sur the lack of surgeries, the lack of uh, the admin side of the medical field. And that is driven simply because people are staying home. People got their surgeries delayed. Um, they're, I'm guessing, and this is a guess, that from the point of personal injury and even personal illness, for that fact, um, for, or for that matter, you know, personal illness. If you if you had light symptoms and maybe you were prone to go to the doctor at this point, more than likely you're rethinking it. Maybe getting some Dayquil or whatever. Um, so they're laying off or, or furloughing or reducing in some areas, obviously not the, not New York or, or not LA necessarily. Um, but that is happening. And I think that, uh, that in conjunction with everything else that's going on from the economical side of things 
it, it's getting to a point of, you know, we're several weeks in on this COVID-19, on the mandates, on the restrictions that we, at some point here in the near future, like we've got to start talking um, on both the health and safety side of things and on the economic side of things on what is next for Alaska, what is next for the United States. Because as, as we all know, you know, businesses are, are still failing, even though there's some incredible SBA loan stuff done through the feds, um, the unemployment stuff that's done locally and, and, and on the federal level, which supports some of the people that are out of work and all of those things. But that isn't going to correct or, or put us back on path. Now, obviously, there is not a cure all or a fix to this stuff. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is we we as a society have got to start looking forward here. As mentioned, 272 cases, 66 recovered, 31 hospitalized. Are these numbers growing? Right? So, yes, they are growing. Of course, they are by the day. But can we stay in this hunker down mentality? And, and I'm not saying that we release the hunker down, but I think that um, we need to come together and, and start looking at how can we rekindle some of these businesses what what is appropriate the curbside deal i think is an incredible deal um i did see a video of these guys doing like uh some 3d or what was it i think it was 3d or vr style uh shop um video and then there was uh, a lot of really cool takeout options and these guys are really getting inventive i think that's what we have to start pushing for immediately and start trying to get some of these businesses open because if you own the business and you got two people or five people or, or what have you, social distance, um, do curbside pickup, you know, have have your cloth mask or whatever, make them pay on the phone or or on your website, you know, have them, have them do that. They go up to the door or window or whatever, show you the receipt. Um, and let's, let's start getting the small business stuff going. Like we've got to do something there. On the other side of that, I believe, and I strongly believe, let me, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I was going to check something, um, but it doesn't matter. So the the price of oil is still in the, the crapper. You know, we hit the $20 marker, and now we're slowly kind of going back up to, I, I think the other day when I was looking, we're at $26. Alaska's infrastructure, to be clear on this, Alaska's infrastructure from an economic standpoint and, and just from a money standpoint is built off of oil and gas. Yes, there are other commodities here, such as the Red Dog Mine, such as the Pogo Mine, such as um, tourism and and um, a lot of other things, uh, the fishing industry and, and all of this. But predominantly speaking, a lot of our money comes from these resources. And in addition to COVID-19, and now to be clear, oil and gas, the mining industries, all of that are affected by COVID-19. They're affected whether they have a individual that's got COVID-19 or not, but they also have to stick with all the mandates. They have to stick with all of those changes and adapt to those really quickly, um, which comes at a very high price. So in addition to low gas prices or oil prices and adopting all of these new mandates and changes. And, and I can tell you firsthand, cause I work with you, I work with these groups. It's getting crazy because they, they have to spend these monies. And then you've got newer guys like oil search and, and all of these other folks that are trying to expand and Conoco is trying to expand the business here in Alaska. Uh, Hillcore starting to buy the BP portion in Prudhoe. And um, I'm going to talk more about that stuff later, but there's a lot of business to be had, but I think, um, America, in addition to in Alaska, in addition to um, working this health and safety side, and I think Doctor Zink and 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 Adam Crum, the uh, commissioner, and all of those guys are doing a good job on the health and safety side with the mandates and with providing information. I think that's that's going well. But we really have to start looking at okay, what can we do for the oil in Alaska and, and the United States for that that matter? What's the deal with Russia? What's the deal with with all of that going on? Because we have to uh, re reignite or or in some in some way start increasing the cost. And I hate to say that because people are out of jobs and and, and so forth and so on. But twenty six bucks a barrel and no one's going anywhere. So let me mention that too. So. No one's going anywhere, or 
shouldn't be going anywhere. You're not going on road trips or, or what have you. Um, so it, it's something to think about. You know, I'm going to continue that part of the conversation. I don't want to sit here and rant and rave, but that to me, from the economic standpoint, small business, the medium sized businesses, even the large businesses with restricting uh, a new a new thing that's happening right now is, is restricting the amount of people in the stores, which makes sense. Hey, good on you. Maybe maybe you do some kind of number system or, or what have you. But uh, stores like Fred Meyers, uh, I think Target may be looking at it. Walmart may be looking at it. Some of these other guys. Um, but we've got to adapt to this sooner than later. We've got to stop kind of dragging our feet. At least that's my opinion, because w- what does two more months of this look like economically? We got a stimulus. The stimulus checks, I believe, are going to start coming out next week for those that get them. Um, and some of that's going to help. Obviously, the Alaska dividend deal, that got just massacred. Uh, it went left. It went right. We're going to go for this. We're going to go for that. The house cut this out. We need this for that. And, and and I'll get into that in a different video because I believe the government side of things here in Alaska is at this time not as transparent as it should be. We want to keep all the government workers on hand. Um, we want to do this. We want to do that. Well, we're doing that at what cost? And what are what what is the public reek? Uh, what benefits does the public reek from that in lieu of doing like the the permanent fund uh, stimulus check now and then one in one in there? And I know that the funds are are running limited and the budgeting's all screwed up. But again, it goes back to we got to get oil prices up. We got to start trying to normalize some of the small businesses. We've got to get the folks that are are currently employed um, shopping. We've got to get some of the grocery stuff figured out because groceries, um, you know, I was just at the store. Again, it seems like if you go and you try to get a couple of bags of groceries, it seems pretty expensive, at least to me. Maybe I'm buying the wrong shit right now, but damn. Um, I guess enough. I, I went on a little little tangent there today. Um let me kind of reel it in. And then, uh, I'll, like I said, I'm going to try to shoot a couple of videos so I can try to get some regular, regular stuff going here, guys. Um, I do appreciate, uh, I, a few big things I appreciate personally, and I hope you guys do as well. The folks that are stepping in and making the masks for everyone that that's, that's awesome. That is, I, my, my hats off to you. The uh, distilleries and breweries and everything that are converting or trying to convert over to uh, make sanitizer, incredible. Um, the folks that are helping the neighbors and, and helping even even your local family, A, stay positive. Because the, the, this, I, I have found myself and, and maybe some of you in like a weird spot on some days where I'm like, what in the heck is going on here? Um, so keep the mental health as best as you can. And I say that in, in, in a sense of we're going to pull through this. We got to band together. We got to be strong. Alaskan strong, United States strong, globally strong, no matter where you're from. Um, so try to stay, stay positive, um, do positive things. I mentioned this before. Um, maybe, you know, I, I, I got some weights and some resistance bands in the garage. I've been trying to, trying to do something physical in the mornings. I got outside with the kids, uh, with the limited sun that came out here in the Matsu Valley through the weekend, which was nice. I'm, I'm not complaining, even though Easter, not so great. Um, but we, we've got a ways to go here and we still have to stay united and not get overwhelmed with the dailies. And the, the one thing, you know, I've gotten and take several, I, I take a lot of phone calls during the week when I'm well in, in the weekend in some cases, um, for my job and, you know, from people all over the country and personally, you know, it's like, how are you doing? You go through the, 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 the formal thing. And then you, more often than not, you kind of tip into the personal side of how, like, how are you really doing? Um, and, and a lot of that is take it, you know, take every day as you can. Um, don't lose hope in your local communities. Don't lose hope in, in America. Don't lose hope in Alaska. We're going to make it through this. Um, I, I would say we're going to be a lot stronger in the end and we will be, but we have to focus on the next steps. And that's, that's where I kind of want to leave today's video. Again, I'll, I'll try to get several of the videos out here this week. I appreciate everybody that is watching and supporting and sharing this content. Um, you know, I, I, I'm fortunate enough to, 
I uh, have lived in Alaska a long time, all over. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have uh, worked in the oil and gas field for a long time. And, and, and as I continue to support that and some of the other uh, sites that we deal with, and I, I, I'm fortunate right now to be able to share my message with, with my local Alaskans and whoever else is watching this. So thank you guys. Thank, thank you to everyone that's supporting me here. Um, please keep hitting the like button, sharing the videos, and I'll keep making these. I know I got caught up last week real briefly. I did shoot a video um, and I had some personal stuff going on that day and I didn't get the video out. And unfortunately, all of that information was relevant for that day in which is what I was talking about earlier on me trying to get some videos out where it's not as critical for the day because again i am working uh taking care of my kids doing the school doing school with them well one of them um and making sure just everything's kind of going together so let's wrap it there guys hey i appreciate you tuning in again i'm anthony this is the orange star experiment you guys be safe wash your hands if you do go out in public if you have a mask wear a mask if you don't have a mask just make sure that if you have any of the, the symptoms which you can find pretty much everywhere on the internet you type in covid19 symptoms um don't go into public uh be mindful of that make sure clean you know if you have wipes or if you don't have wipes um if you have cleaner or hopefully you have cleaner at, at, at this point make sure that you're you're taking care of your own home making sure that everybody is as safe as they can wash wash your clothes regularly anything that you come in contact with outside of the home that should be quarantined uh, or should be a quarantine safe area Make sure you take those critical steps. And it's the beginning of the week, guys. Have a wonderful week. Drop a comment down below. I am going to set up, I know last week, I think I mentioned setting up kind of a Q&A or read the comments video. I'm going to set that up later this week um, and maybe go for like a Friday or Saturday release. So again, drop some comments. I'm going to go through all the COVID-19 or, or recent videos, discussing those, talking, talking through it. Um, and uh, that's what we're going to leave off with. So again, have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.